Hi guys, this is another Relax and Paint this morning, and I am doing good today. No makeup, no nothing, but it's all about the art and enjoying what we do, and I'm excited to be with you this morning and share with you, whether you're watching it in the morning or not, um, something that um, is kind of fun. It's always fun, but I want to share something with you today that um, is quick and inexpensive. So let's get going. The, I've gone to Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and I want you to see some of these quick projects that were a dollar. Okay, so let's go to the overhead camera, and we're gonna see that, let me get straight here. I got my, my little rocking enamel. Now this one rocks from Dollar General, but there's uh, there's Santa's like this enamel, snowman and Santa's and other things at Dollar Tree also. So I'm just gonna tell you really quickly how we do this and make it look like a rich piece. All right, these are different shapes that you're gonna also see at Dollar Tree. And you can order online too, I didn't know if you knew that, and order and have it delivered to the store or you can pay to have it delivered to your house, all right? But there's no charge when they deliver it to the store. But this is, these are a dollar, a dollar general. All right, so I wanna show you, the first thing I did is I flip it over and I've got a base coated piece here. Now, I took, this is what I want you to see, I took and I base coated everything but the face, all right? With multi-surface paint, because this multi-surface paint will stick right to the enamel metal. So it's fun. And we're gonna take it from a shiny kind of fun, um, simple piece to more detailed treasure that you would wanna keep, okay? And these are really cute because they rock and everything. All right, I think the kids will like this. So I'm gonna get started with um, a quick little step. So I'm gonna jump back and forth because I think it's gonna help you a little bit. All right, so I'm going to use my 12 flat and I'm going to pick up on this one where I've already base coated it. I'm going to have my medium out here with me. So I've go, base coated it with apple red. All right, let's go a little bit closer. And then I can actually do some apple red on my brush with a little bit of licorice or I can go right here to my berry wine. All right, so then I can come along here and I can make this a little bit richer by having some shading in here. So I'm gonna shade up along the beard. So this would be underneath the beard. So I go to the top of the arm, let's get some more. The top of the arm. And I wanna do this before I put my white. Okay, so I'm gonna come right along here. And then I'm gonna make this come right in here. And this is just gonna give a lot more depth, depth to our piece, okay? So then I could come underneath here. I could also go along the belt and I'll show you afterwards against the um, enamel piece. Now you can, you can spray this and make it just as shiny as it was before with a spray sealer. Uh, does this look fun yet? How many of you are wanting to be part of the holiday season already? Now making these little gifts and getting them, I've got 29 grandchildren. So this is a good time, anytime's a good time to start working for the next season, all right? so. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's the shiny and there's when I start getting depth. This is flat, all right? So I'm not worried about getting on the black because that's the detail we do at the end. I also am, am gonna leave this little bit of red I put on top of those stripes. And then all I have to do is, I had a little too flat here also. Where did I put that? All right, so I have a too flat. I'm gonna do, a little bit of shading for the face. So I'm gonna come right here and get, this is um, tapioca, but pick up a little bit of red and I can make a little pink tone. 
Now I can go a little bit of pink on top of the nose and I can do that after the beard too, but I want to put a little bit of cheek in here. Okay. Now you're going to need this two and maybe even a six to get some detail. All right. I know that looks a little blurry. The other thing is I can pick up with a two script liner, this wicker white. So this is a two script liner. All right, so I'm going to, oops, I'm going to come right where the stripes were and take, I'm sorry, I, got, I can't get a hold of this and be under the camera too. Am I under the camera? All right, now you can take, you can take and make these stripes, guys, by this flattening this out, but you can also come back and shade the edge afterwards because with the red so it looks like it curves more but you can see just leave that kind of bright all right let's do a candy cane now I base coated the handle hand the mittens his gloves black instead of it had aqua and I'm going to come along here and do the candy cane stripes and then I'm going to put a little detail on those a little bit later. All right. We also can come right here. And if I put white and then I put some treasure gold on here, you're going to get a nice look too. See that? And this is his buckle. I would probably make that one gold. All right, you can also put little designs down here if you want to, like snowflakes or whatever. All right, so I'm going to put an extra coat of licorice with this liner too. Let's come right here so you can see me. Right along here. And right along here. Okay. All right. So this is what's going to be fun for you. I'm going to put this Santa to the side. It's going to be a quick one. So I'm going to work on this guy. Now I'm going to take white on this two, two script liner. All right. And so what happens here is I'm going to start the beard down here. So I'm going to touch and pull up and make this beard like a little square beard pieces, okay? So you start at the bottom and we're gonna layer up and you put the gray because the gray gives it depth. Okay, all the way around. All right, let's do a second layer. We're going to stagger that in between. Little, little bits. Okay, is this kind of fun? I'm going to show you another kind of beard in a minute with a rake brush. And if you go to my practice strokes, I did a whole thing on the rake brush. So I'm going to continue. Let me see. I'm going to continue to pick up the white if you see with the flat brush white. And let me turn it so you can see. All right, all the way up and I'm going to go to the nose. So when I go to the nose, guys, just grab it and pull it down a little bit right in there because then we have this big mustache. So what you want to do with the mustache is you want to have it curve all the way around. Ooh, I'm shaking. 
curve all the way around. Okay, and then let's just let's just make a little streak. So I haven't done this one yet, so it's kind of fun. I'm creating it with you. I hope you think about this day and go pick up some little any kind of metal. It's the same thing I'm showing you. Any kind of the metal projects that they have at Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Family Dollar. That I think they all have these. All right. So just think um, how they look with the enamel painted with more detail. That's what I think is kind of fun. All right. So I'm going to use my small scruffy. This is the quarter inch scruffy. Okay. And so what's going to happen with this, guys? is that you're going to pounce this. I know I'm being louder today. I'm usually quiet, <laughs> but then I have some people that say, I can hear you. All right. So look, I'm in a cheery mood because it's a holiday project. Now watch this. I'm going to pounce. Am I in front of you? There we go. Pounce, pounce, pounce the fur. I put a little bit, did you see that? A little bit of gray, a little bit of white. So it's not just solid white. All right. And then you can come right in here. I'm going to get a little bit more gray so you can see the difference. There we go. Pounce, 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 pounce. All right, they're not dabbing, they're pouncing. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the, on the furry ball. Okay, and you might need one more coat to the white kind of turn pink a little bit. So you just put another coat there. I can't wait to show y'all before and after. So I bought two so I could show you. I just think it turned out cute. It's gonna turn out cute. <laughs> I haven't finished one to see yet, but I know it will. I've done this other seasons. Okay. And a little bit of fur here. Okay. Now, what I don't like is right along here, you can see that it went down. Okay. That, and then I just went down even more. So, what I would do is I would take a clean brush clean water brush and look. All right, so we're going to just take it off. Wipe it off, go along here. Okay, so I can just wipe off with water. I can take and tap that. Okay. little bit and the brush cleans it up and you know what if i'm if i'm worried about it lifting which it shouldn't i could just go get some more berry wine right along here a little bit more berry wine and there we go all right so he's getting cute i just want to oops i got my I dropped my sand. I'll pick it up in a minute. So I'm going to tap in here. A furry. Eyebrow. Okay. And just do a little few little touches, especially around here. Okay. Now what I then do is with my two script liner, I'm going to take a little. Ah, there, oh, there's a little glare. <laughs> All right, so let me lift that up. A little bit of a glare. Let's wipe it off. I want the glare at the top. So I'm going to take this two or six brush and put a little bit of a glare. Nah. All right, just touch it and lift. Okay, just a little shine on his nose. Okay, and I will take a little tip into the script liner and touch, oops, if you're not shaking, I'm trying to do too small a detail. There we go. Put a little glare in his eyes. 
All right. So let's take oh, this brush. I found this brush really fast. I'll use this one. This one is an eight flat, just a little bit smaller. All right. So I'm going to get medium. It's a little bit of medium. And oops, I didn't want black. All right, let me wash that off. Okay, so medium, lay it down. And I'm going to get a little bit of white. See the little bit of white? And I'm going to lay it down for a few minutes to blend it. All right, so I'm going to come right here on this little mitten or glove. I put a glare right here, a little bit of a glare and a little bit of a glare. We're just the medium, okay? Also can do a glare here, just a little bit. See, so you're touching it and you're just pulling. And then I can put a little bit of glare on top of the boot. Oh, let's pull it this way. Okay. I just wanted you to see, I base coated it first, so that was a real simple base coating. I also, can take this medium and wipe most of this off, but I can put a glare right in the middle of my stripe. See a little bit of a shine. All right, so then look what happens here. I can go all the way up the candy cane and over the over the top. And let me come on down because what this will do, if I get a real flat little line what I happen is it gives you a glare to the candy cane and it looks a little bit more realistic. All right, so is that kind of fun? I can also, let me put that dark in here. I can also come in here and add detail to the suit or I can come in here, watch this, right up here. I can put with my script liner, sap green and a little bit of citrus. And I can do a little holly. So a little bit of holly and all you see is my citrus. Let me get some more sap. Okay, a little bit of sap green. I can also do little dots coming down on his outfit with stripes. So look what I'm doing again, sap, citrus. I can come over here and put dot, 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 and then I can do a stripe, dot, 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 and a stripe. See, I'm just dotting it and striping it, and I don't want to touch the beard. I just touched the beard. Did you see that? Stripe. And stripe. And right in the middle, I do the last little dot. Okay. So just go with a wet brush and wipe off anything that you didn't want to be there. Okay. I can take a little bit of the gray, guys. I hope you like this. This is just kind of fun showing you quick and easy ways to do it. So a little bit of detail, put three little berries right here. Uh, I might just put dot, 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 the white berries. Okay, so there you go. Now this is what you have to see. You have to see the shiny one. This one's going to get shiny, but see how he's got detail. See the gloves and the more realistic cap, the scruffy, and I can put a uh, dragonfly over this or some, some um, uh, down here, I can put diamond dust, which is sparkle. All right, so there we go. All right, he's got a little bit more than this, and these were a dollar, so how fun is that? So I'm going to try to do this other one very quickly so I don't take up all your time. And it is right here. All right, this has even some sparkle on it, so I can't paint right on this side. 
Uh, I can paint up here and change it a little bit, but then it messes up the sparkle. So I just turned it over, tied a ribbon at the top and hung it, or I glued this on a wreath that I did. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you on this guy. I am going to take my rake brush. See that rake? And I'm going to wet it with water. And I'm just going to come in here. I don't want that red in there. So I can make it a little inky, just a little bit with water. Okay, so it's red, not with medium. You can't use medium when you're doing this because it's a gel. Okay, so I made his nose pretty red. Now you can take two things. You can take a scruffy brush and scruffy this whole beard. And I'll show you the scruffy up here, but I've done the scruffy right on the beard. Or you can come down here, watch this. And you can keep grabbing this wet, wet uh, rake brush where I used me the, I made it kind of inky. Okay, so I base coated it with medium gray. And then I came in here with the rake brush. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna do another layer and another layer coming up, kind of like I did with the square, but I like to do all the beards different so it's more interesting. So see, I just keep coming up. And the only time you have to change is when you get ready to do the mustache, okay? So the gray gives it depth. And then, so I can, I can go back and forth and get a different look too, guys. All right. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I thought this would be a fun take taking surfaces and using the scruffy, especially if it's a snowman and use the scruffy. And one of my friends, Charlie, she took the star uh, the snowflakes, wood snowflakes from Dollar Tree, and she's making a snowman face on it and putting, or was that a pumpkin? No, it was a snowman and put a carrot nose and then put glitter all over it. All right. So I can come back down here and just put a few more texture raking back and forth to give you this beard. I can also then come in here with medium gray and white and I can make a mustache. See the mustache coming in and coming out here. See that? So then I'm going to take this gray in here, curl it. This is all with the rake. See how fast I'm making that happen. And remember, when it's a beard, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm doing this one long, really long on top of that gray. So see how it stands out a little bit more. Let's get some more white. You can let this dry and then come back. I don't have time now, but you can come back and get more texture and not see the gray so much, okay? So I'm gonna come here a little bit more. There we go. All right. All right, so I get a little bit more gray. Watch this and I come up under here. Just a little bit, or you could float this later so it looks like it's standing up. See that one more time? Oh, that was with the chisel of this brush. So coming here, a dollar surface. So if you have to base coat it, it's okay because it only costs a dollar. All right. So this is what I want to show you. I'm going to take this nose and I'm going to um, pick up, you can do a flesh color nose, but I did a red nose. Okay. <laughs> a red nose. And I will put a little glare on that, kind of like we did on the other one. I put a little bit. This is my flat brush. This is a 12, 12 flat. Okay, a little bit of highlight. And we're going to take our three quarter inch brush and we are going, I'm actually taking medium and I'm working this in 
to get it just on one edge. Okay, so then what's going to happen is we're going to come right along here and we're going to go right across here and up over the nose and right along here. So you're going to go nice and smooth along here and then come around. So what's going to happen is this is going to give you a nice dark shaded edge. And I'm not going to put fur on this one. I said I might do fur, but we're not going to. What we're going to do is make it like a sweater hat. All right. So we're going to come around. And when there's a wrinkle, see, I've got medium. And then I come in here and pick out a little bit of a wrinkle. And all around the outside edge, see, I'm using a three-quarter inch brush. So I want to shade it really nice. Can you all see the folds in it? really nice around here and all the way up to the top. Now you could put a pom-pom, but I'm going to mostly work on making it a sweater. Now I would do this after I do the sweater design, but I'm afraid I can't do it while we're doing our, our live. Okay, so there we are so far. And I'm gonna take the script liner it's a two script liner. I'm going to now make this a little inky, a little bit with some water, not medium. See that? Now we use medium for all the rest. And what I'm afraid of is that this wet is going to keep my white from working. So I'm going to pause for a minute and go dry this and be right back. Okay, so we are... I already started after I blow dried, I forgot, I have to be on air with you. So I'm going to, I wet it lightly with water. I'm rolling it so it's kind of thick. If I want it thin, I'm going to have to put a little bit more water in it. So I'm going to come across here and curve like the curves of the hat. All right, so I can make some kind of close. See, my little finger helps me pull this across, but they don't have to be super perfect. It's just supposed to be kind of fun, okay? And it's an inexpensive, quick little gift that you can tie a bow on and give to a friend. And there we go. So I'm going, I'm going to make it like a sweater, and I've seen all kinds of cute little things that you can do. All right, so um, I'm going to crisscross. one way and then we're going to cross across the other way you can also bring it a, a little bit this way to finish it out touch here bring it across touch here and bring it across all right so you see how easy i made that one happen you don't have to make it a difficult thing then i can go in here and do a wave all right and then I can also use the handle, the dip dot. So I take the handle and I can dot on top of, of um, this stripe right here. I'm doing two together. Space and two, space and two. All right. So just any little bit like that helps. And then I can use bigger daubers. Okay, so we're going to get this little dauber, all right, and I can do it off the edge, touch, twist, touch, twist, and I can even put one down here at the end, all right, is that kind of fun? Just little teeny designs all around here, I don't know, I think that's enough, all right. Now, you can do a flesh-colored nose, or you can just put this little red nose, like a red nose reindeer. I just had water in that brush. That's a little lesson for you. <laughs> All right. So I want to wipe that off. Tap it. And I'm making it worse because I've got pink all over it. Okay. Okay, so I want to come right across here and just put a little bit of glare 
but I should have dried my brush out before I touched it. That's the lesson I was trying to tell you. All right. So now that I've dried this beard, I want to show you one more thing. See, it's pretty gray still. Now I'm going to go back to the white. And come along here. There we go. All right, there we go. Isn't that kind of fun? So I'm going to take a picture and send it to you so you see the whole thing done. And we have our little Santa. And you can create that too very quickly. And I don't know how long we took, but not very long. So you guys enjoy and show me what you create because people are creating the cutest things with their Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar pieces. All right, thank you guys. See you later.